Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this super quick tutorial, we'll be using the code in the description below to add a symbol between the text-based links in the Squarespace navigation. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use this code in Squarespace and how to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and you can see I have multiple pages linked in my main navigation and I have a drop-down menu. We're going to add the code that's listed in the description below to our site-wide CSS by navigating to Pages, then selecting Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. I'm going to paste the code that's in the description below and immediately we'll see a dash between the active links here in our main navigation. We have a simple symbol between these pages, but you'll notice it's not in the dropdown and it's not at the end or the beginning of the navigation. It's only between those links. Now you can change this symbol to anything you want it to be. Maybe you want to do a forward slash, or maybe you want to do a pipe symbol. Any Unicode character or text can be used here. After you've selected the symbol that you want to use, I left a semicolon here at the end so we could add additional properties and values to customize it even more. I'm going to add a new line of code, and let's go ahead and make that symbol larger. We can say font size, maybe 1.5 REM. There we go, we've increased the size of the symbol just a little bit. You can decrease it as well. Maybe you just wanna take it down to 0 0.75 so it's a little smaller. Again, super customizable. Let's go ahead and return it to that larger size so we can see this next code that we're going to add. I'll add a semicolon and I'm gonna say color red. And now we can see those symbols have turned into a bright red color. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more space between those symbols and the actual text links, let's add a semicolon and let's say margin left, how about 2px? That shifted over just a little bit. Be super cautious, however, when you're adding a margin, if you add one that's too big, like maybe 20px, you can scoot your links down into a second line, which is not ideal. So be extra cautious with that. And again, you don't need to add these additional codes if you don't want to. If all you want to do is add a symbol that matches the same font size, style, and color as your navigation links, just update what's in between these quotation marks. For a list of symbols you can use, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode. This is a list of all the Unicode characters that are compatible with most fonts available in Squarespace, so you can explore a lot of different options here. Again, that's insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode. And inside your code, this is the symbol that you'll want to update with the symbol that you'd like to use. Now I'm going to go ahead and select save, but I want to show you one quick thing before we call this tutorial a wrap. Let's take a look at the mobile version of our site. If we open up this menu, you'll notice that that symbol is nowhere to be found. That symbol is only being used in the desktop navigation links on our Squarespace website. And again, replace this symbol right here between the quotation marks to make this code uniquely yours. Underneath this video, you'll find the base code that we use to add that symbol in between the text-based links inside Squarespace. And you'll also find some suggestions for things like font size and color and other creative ways to add codes that will make this uniquely yours. If you like this tutorial, give it a like and let me know in the comments and definitely check out some of the related content that I've linked in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.